this one what you need to do is you need to write the answer t if it's true f if it's false okay so let's look one by one recycling is making new things from all things recycling is using something old to make something new so the answer should be true second one we don't make more new rubbish recycling makes rubbish so the other one say we don't make more new rubbish the keyword more new rubbish here it say recycling makes rubbish so the answer is false everything can be recycled unfortunately we cannot recycle everything so we cannot recycle everything everything can be recycled is it the same no it's not so the answer is false next one we can only recycle metal paper glass and plastic yes so the answer is true then we have old plastic bottle to make new bottles and shoes and clothes we can recycle old glass jar to make shoes glass jar or plastic bottles it's not the same so false next we have make clothes from plastic bottles this one say all plastic bottles to make new bottles and shoes so the answer is true red yellow and blue everyone can recycle not everyone can recycle so the answer is false next we have red yellow and blue are the colors of the recycling bin so the answer is true then black is the rubbish bin black is the color true and last one more rubbish we don't make rubbish anymore yes is it the same no it's not so the answer is false okay next let's move on to the next section section c okay so this one you need to look at the example a piece of cheese remember you need to write a and of because in the example given in your paper you need to write the a and of so number one a piece of cheese this is a piece of cheese number two if it's a milk what do we use we say a glass of milk this is a glass of milk number three for cereal we say a box of cereal for number four soda a can of soda this is a can of soda number five crisps a bag of crisps so this is a bag of crisps number six tea when we talk about tea the answer should be a cup of tea a cup of tea this is a cup of tea for chocolate we say a bar of chocolate so this is a bar of chocolate for water if you look at the picture there it's a bottle of water this is the picture number nine we have juice a carton of juice this is a carton of juice and the last one a bowl of salad this is a bowl of salad since all this question is only one mark so if you didn't write the uh and off you will not get any mark you need to write the full sentence a piece of a glass of you cannot just say piece cheese glass milk box cereal okay pay attention make sure not to repeat the same mistakes again it's okay this is your uh, there's another exam coming on later don't worry you learn from your mistakes okay next one look at the picture choose or write a suitable answer for each pictures okay so this is a two marks question number one look at the question what time do you usually wake up the keyword here usually so the answer should be c i usually wake up at eight o'clock next one number two are there any biscuits in the jar 
look at the keyword there are two keyword here uh, there are two things to pay attention here the first one are they and then the second one in the jar so you can look at the jar are there any biscuits in the jar so the answer is no they aren't why aren't because there's none and the key the question starts with ah okay for number three you need to write the answer if number one and two just now you need to circle the answer number three you need to write the answer based on the picture you need to look at the picture okay what do you do after dinner look at the girl after dinner and then look at the hand of the girl it's pointing to the tv right so these are some examples number one you can say i will watch tv after dinner or you can just say i'm going to watch tv after dinner okay next one when's your birthday okay this is a very simple question you can write any date as long as the format is correct okay so here are some examples number one it's december 25th yes december 25th is my birthday mr zach okay next one you can also say it like this one it's on 25th of it's on 25th december or you can say it's on the 25th of december or you can just say my birthday is on the 25th of december so you, you can choose any of this format just change the month december to your birthday month and the date 25th to your ordinal number okay remember we are using ordinal number for months last one what would you like to order this one is also a question that lets you answer anything as long as the answer is correct so what would you like to order when someone asks you what would you like to order you can say i would because here what would and you can say i would i would like to order some pasta please or you can say i would like to have a glass of water or you can just say can i have some pizza please so you can choose any of these make sure the food that you order or the drink that you order the spelling is correct in order for you to get a mark okay next one choose and write the correct answer remember guys this is a one mark question when it's one mark if you're wrong spelling or you don't do according to the instruction you don't get any mark so when it says choose and write you need to circle or underline and write the answer okay number one every evening greg to feed has or have to feed his pet dog rex you need to look at the subject greg how many people or how many person yes there's only one so the answer should be has when there's only one person remember we use has uh if we are using the malay uh malay language remember the s s for satu orang has ikaran one person so has for greg has number two after dinner they has or have to clear the table together look at the keyword they how many people or how many person yes more than one when we use more than one when we are talking about more than one people the answer should be have one person s greg more than one ve okay next she has or have got a beautiful garden at her house she one person she has next one 
Lisa likes sports. She always or never exercise. Okay, when you like something, what do you do? Always or never. So the answer here is, when you like something, you always. Okay. If you don't like sport, the answer will be never. If you like it, the answer will be always. Next, Rose loves Korea, but she has sometimes been there, never been there. She would love to go there one day. Okay, look at the word but. But means uh, something's wrong, uh, something contradict to the first sentence. Rose loves Korea, but why but she would love to go there one day that means that she never been to korea so the answer is but she has never number six we must always or sometimes speak to our teacher when we don't understand yes when you don't understand you need to always speak always tell your teacher if not the teacher won't understand the teacher won't know that you don't understand and forever you you will not understand so when you don't understand something ask your teacher if your teacher cannot help you ask your friend okay number seven miss lee did or didn't 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 means did not teach math yesterday she taught english math yesterday she taught english so the answer here is did didn't didn't miss did not miss lee did not teach maths yesterday she taught english number eight i did or i didn't come to school at seven o'clock last sunday i came at half past six in the morning so the answer should be didn't i didn't come to school at seven i came at half past six number nine what do or what did you do last weekend greg look at the keyword last weekend already happened so which one is the past tense? do or did yes the past tense is did what did you do last weekend number 10 where do or did you think we should go next the shopping center or the library okay if you look at the word here you think we should go next should go next is a present then so the answer should be do what do you think not what did you think because the answer is in present then the sentence is in present then go go is present then okay, next one choose and write the correct answer okay choose and write there are two things you need to do circle or underline then write the answer Number one, the Saturday evening. Greg, how many person? There's only one, so we must. When there's only one person, remember the rule S for satu orang. S, so rides. Greg rides. Okay, number two, he, she, or sis. Look at the keyword he. How many people? How many person? There's only one. Satu orang. S, so he sees his friends okay next one number three they how many people more than one there is or they are the answer is they are is s satu orang okay next greg uh number four he how many people there's only one person so he tells s and then number five his friends with s okay his friends already have the s it means there are more than one many people so the answer the second one no need s his friends say because more than one 